Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy LB and today I'm going to show you how I create this cinematic look color grading in Premiere Pro. So here we go. So for here guys, I have these clips here, this medium, close up and the, this close up too. Okay, so I'm going to create adjustment layer as always and I came here for this new item and then, sorry. I'm gonna create the new adjustment layer and then I have to drop it here above these clips okay and then so I'm gonna use yeah color workspace so you come here for this workspace and then you jump in, in this color workspace so and then yes let me use this clip okay you see it is also good so First, let me open up these curves, okay? I just wanna open up these curves, okay? First of all, I'm going to see, yes, to create the look. Yes, how this clip is gonna be look and then we adjust the light after, okay? So, let's use this clip too, cause I just want to decrease saturation of this blue and green, cause I just want the main color that I want it is black and brown so the things I'm going to do and I'm going to select this blue okay so I came here on this hover sat okay I have to select the blue in general okay and then I have to move down this blue okay you see guys my my paint is blue and then this yeah, and then this wood is also blue so when I move down you see now becoming yes like like black okay so even this glass too okay I just want to move it down so I have to select this grass you see this green with yes more yellow okay so I have to pick yeah this yellow we mixed with green so I have to move down you see guys when I move down you see guys what is happening to my grass okay yeah this is perfect and then now let me move down for this hoover sat okay so i just want to change like this glaze this uh, little bit color okay so let me select this green too okay and i have to move it down you see guys when i move down you see what is happening to my glass okay so when i move it up you see the color is changing and then when i keep moving down also the color is changing so maybe let me yeah this is this is good okay so about this blue and green i just want the deep the deep color okay so now you see here it's it's like smooth okay so that reason why i have to come here for this hoover sluma and also i have to pick the green and the blue okay so let me select the green and the blue yeah this is green and this is blue so when i move down you see what is happening okay yeah yeah let me move down like this guys may, maybe you see on my screen when i move it up you see how this blue color is and then when i move down you see how it is okay even this green too okay yeah something like this yeah this is enough all right so for other footages you see how it is so that was before yeah this is before and this is after okay uh, even here uh, this is this is before and then this is after so guys this is my look okay so now the things i'm going to do and i'm going to adjust light and other things okay so this is the general look which i want okay so now i'm going to close these these curves okay so before I close, I have to come back here for this RGB. So, and I have to add the one point here on the center of this line. And I have to add like contrast yeah, something like this. You see guys, how it is now my color is getting, yes. Deeply look, okay. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, this is nice. You see how it is. Yeah, deeply look okay so let me close these curves okay so and i'm going to open up this color with because i just want this black color okay you see this black color just want this black color to add like 
another color where it makes it with like green or blue okay so i have to come here for this shadow so and i have to move down something like you see guys when i move down you see how this shadow it is so and i have to add like green you see even also you can add blue but for me let me add the small one green okay yeah the green so when you add more you see what is happening this is not good okay so that reason why i have to add the the few green okay as possible so let me come back here for this first clip okay and then guys you see there is something is something which is not looking good about this gray so let me come back here for these curves okay so i have to pick another yellow okay so and i have to move it down you see guys now it is disappearing okay yeah now it is disappearing but there is also another one few so that reason why i have to pick the small one okay I can pick the other point here and then when i move down so now you see everything is gone so this is pretty nice okay and then so let me close this curve too so and i'm going to jump here for this basic correction now about this basic correction i'm going to adjust the light okay and other things okay so let me add the temperature like the small one yes like six or five yeah, okay and then i'm gonna reduce this highlight okay so something like this small one minus three okay and then i have to add the contrast here too okay for this white okay about this guy we will do it okay about this guy okay and then so so let me close this basic correction and i'm going to jump on this h cell secondary so for these guys i'm going to i'm not going to make the skin tone as well as usual okay so the things i'm going to do i just want to make yes to give them the cinematic look okay but i have to select this skin tone okay so first i'm going to select this skin tone and they have to make the inverse okay so i have to select this red okay and i have to enable this color gray now you see guys the skin tone i picked the skin tone okay even the other colors which has the same as skin tone yeah, is already selected you see guys for the all clips okay let me add this blur like this and then let me come back here for this clip so and i'm going to click here on this icon so when i click on this icon you see what i get guys okay i receive the other colors without skin tone you know about the contrast of yes to increase the contrast of these colors okay I have to come here for these three cycles because i'm going to use the shadow so for this shadow is where i can add like yeah the green yes the green one so let me reduce the saturation yeah something like this so for here too let me see so let me close this color gray i can also make balancing yeah i can also make color grading here without this color gray but i have cause i have been already selected okay so here when i add blue you see what is happening when i add red when i add something like this you see what is happening okay so let me pick this one yeah this small green okay yeah this small green just like this for other colors yeah for other clips you see how the things it is okay if it is too much i can reduce yeah something like this and i have to add sharpen yeah sharpen okay yeah this is nice and then so let me close this hcl secondary so and the last one i'm going to add the skin tone so about the skin tone guys i have to create another adjustment layer for the skin tone only okay so i have already created the adjustment layer here so i have to pick and i have to put it on the top of these clips okay and i have to extend so and i have to so click on it and open this hcl secondary and i'm going to pick the red as usual as always 
now let me enable this color gray so you see how my skin tone it is also okay and i'm going to add this blurriness yeah something like this so come back here for enable your old increase this sharpen okay in order to get your in order your clip to look well so let me increase this temperature in this way and they have to move it up in order to get the enough light about my skin tone okay so let me increase this contrast small contrast i i can't use saturation about this uh about the skin tone so i use this temperature or you can use this cycle okay so let me close this color gray let me see how it is yeah, you see how these things is okay if it is not enough guys you can just keep increasing yeah something like this yeah this is looks nice and better even this okay this close up of this one yeah even this one too yeah this is nice so without skin tone you see how the clip was looking okay but before but after this is what is happening so this is looks nice guys and then about the clips for example about the light okay so for example when it this clip it, it has more light you can click on itself about on itself for the clip okay so then you come here for this basic correction you try to decrease or increase the exposure or something like this now you get the equal level of the light for all clips okay so this is how you can create this dark look cinematic color grading in premiere pro so guys if you like my video please don't forget to make subscribe and hit the bell notification below like share and comment let me know what you think so i love you guys see you in next video peace